Okay, welcome back. We're in Aban, Oban, Scotland. Looking out to sea there, off to my uh, right. Yes, we're going to take the aircraft back to uh, Inverness this evening. The sun has just gone down, really, so this is now classed as night flying. So we'll check our thing. We're full of free movement. We got we're squawking seven thousand and one. Um, everything's set. Everything's set. Good, 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 good. Brakes off. Power up. Wind is two, three, six, zero, five knots. Clear takeoff. Producing full power. Afterburners are on. Brakes are off. Following the sensor line. Looking, glancing down for warning signs. Warning alarms. No warning alarms. Everything's looking good. Accelerating through 100 knots. Back pressure. We're going to do a high level. Don't do low level at night. Okay. Not unless I've got my uh, terrain following on, which I'm not doing tonight. Okay. Quick look outside. Look at that. That's absolutely wicked. To fly fast jets this is the one to fly this is the latest and best it's this t7a red hawk okay all fighter pilots should be flying these in training okay where's my airport there it is behind me looking around this is good okay i'm gonna try and do it vfr if we can, if not, we'll uh, resort to other means. I love flying it in Scotland, especially in the evening. Got a lot of nav lights are on. Look. Well, Oban is down there, Oban Airport. We're going to follow the estuary here up to. Fort William is our first waypoint. Got a nice big map, big moving map there we can see. So we're not going to get lost at all. I don't generally fly in the dark because you can't see anything. Now, bearing in mind, we have a, an enormous uh, mountain called Ben Nevis, which is dead ahead of us. And that is going to max out at about 4,000 feet. So I'm rad out. I'm looking at my rad out. I've got 6,500 there, so I am 2,000 foot into a safety margin there. God. Lights up ahead there. It's not Fort William yet, though. It's probably somewhere else. It's definitely somewhere else. Okay. Check altitude seven thousand. Speed five hundred and sixty knots. Okay, it's trim now. Trim, 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 trim. Wind at this altitude, I've got a headwind. That's going to knock 26 knots off my current speed, Mach 0.98. So I'm almost at the speed of sound, almost supersonic, and I'm following the lock on the GPS there. Look. Okay, roll level. I'm leveled off there now. Trim, trim, 7,800, just coming up to 8,000 feet. So that's more than enough to clear Ben Nevis. Got a cloud up ahead as well, that's going to impinge my visibility. So this trip will not take very long. That's all. Quick swig of wine. Ah. 
nothing like an evening flight with a bit of wine. This is real time and weather, by the way. So we're overhead, that's a bit of a lighthouse. I don't know if we can see it. It's well lit. Should be a lighthouse visible down there on the entrance to the Caledonian Canal, I think. Is that the entrance or is it further up? See them in the GPS there, the, the left hand bend, the elbow that is Fort William, that is where Ben Nevis is clearly marked on the GPS there. Off to our right, the big orangey, yellowy bit, blobby bit. So I'm literally going to follow Loch Ness all the way to Inverness, Caledonian Canal. Stop climbing, come on, get your nose down a bit. I'm going to finish up in all this cloud. We have to go a bit higher, become embroiled in cloud. But my main worry at the moment is cumulus granitus. I don't want to hit it. Okay. This aircraft has got ground collision avoidance system, it has got um, terrain following, looking out for other aircraft. It's even got auto throttles, auto pilot, it's got everything, okay. It's all singing and dancing, I'm wandering off. Lock is off to the left. Watch that. Is it come left a bit more? I've got Ben Nevis down there, so it's all pitch dark. Look, there's nothing, absolutely no visible sign of it whatsoever. But it is the largest mountain in the UK. Okay, let's wind up at this height. Oh, in the bottom right hand, that's my rad alt. I'm actual height above ground, 7,300. And if I was to stray over Ben Nevis, that would knock 4,000 feet off that. So I've still got to give myself a bit of a safety margin. It's a valley going off that way, look. Okay, so I'm going to drop down now. Back on line with the water. So I've strayed. That should do it. Okay, level off there. It's going to take us into cloud. 5,500. Still clear of terrain. That's good course, it's bringing me back over the lock, but it's taking me into cloud. Okay, so we'll just stay there for now. Hopefully the cloud will clear. Engine checks fuel, engine is good, M1's good. Okay, we're over the lock again now, so we can come right a bit. That road, I guess, follows the lock. Nose down slightly, there we go. Let's nail this heading now, should be about 3-0, you're on 3-0 already. Maybe a little bit more than 3-0. Okay, we're off to 5,500. That's all good. Level off. Good. Leveled off. Three six. Maybe make it three seven. Six hundred knots. Flashing now. This is dangerous for my ejection seat. Trying to eject at this speed is bad. That's why it's flashing. See the seat. It's flashing right there. That's why when Maverick ejected at Mach 10, everybody laughed. I went, yeah, I'd have smoke coming off me as well. 
not really the least of my problems. Anyway, I was recommending to slow down a bit before. Uh, yeah, so about 600 knots. That's the warning here for ejecting. Not that we're going to eject. Unless something catastrophic goes wrong, but I'm sure we'll slow down as we descend. Oh, rain. Oh, God. So almost supersonic. If anyone goes on the uh, Google Maps there and looks at Oban to Inverness, see how long it'll take you in a car and see how far it is. It'll probably take you a while, as it's going to take me about 20 minutes at the most. Looking like most of it's in cloud. Check my height, 5,000 feet. But I get a lot of dis disorientation in cloud. 38 degrees, need to come right a bit more, make it 40. 40, there we go, roll out. Straight and level, altitude 4,600. Some ways and we're descending. That's not good. Okay, we'll pull back on the stick a bit here. Five degrees. I don't want to descend. Four seven, four eight, four nine. I don't want to be below five thousand feet. There we go. Five thousand. Can level off again now. Try and stay under this cloud if we can. Still on heading, still following the lock, that's good. I like to remain visual with the surface if possible. Not always possible. Oh, especially when it's raining at night. Down to 5,000 feet again. Raise the nose a tad. A little bit more to trim that. So, nose wants to be about there to re remain level. Check position's good, feels good, and temperatures are good. Altitude is good. Visibility is crap. Okay. Position on my map is good on course. Wind two three two twenty knots headwind. Should be coming up to uh, Inverness pretty soon. I've got the VOR on the map there, top right hand corner of the screen, that's the VOR for Inverness. Okay, terrain's quite low now so I can drop down a bit. I'll try and pop out below the cloud here. Safe height, I'll go for 2,000 feet. So a shallow descent. Mach 1 in a shallow descent, and I will level out at cloud base. Unless it goes below 2000, in which case I'll go back up. Okay, 4 5. 
we're still on target. Four two, boom. Now that should be Inverness. Oh. It's gone black on me. There it is again. It's definitely Inverness. Can't make out the river or the bridge in the dark. <coughs> okay, you want to come round to the right. Call Inverness. This is Inverness. This is uh, T7 A Redhawk inbound to you uh, from a band currently overhead in Inverness, 2800 feet. Continue approach. Roll out. Okay, I bring the power down. I should be over the water very soon. Over the coast. Climbing again for some reason there. Glancing down at my map. Atrocious weather. Loads of fuel, 2000 fuel. Okay, visual with the runway. Throttle down, throttle is closed. Air brakes extended. Looking for 250 for gear extension. Runway is dead ahead. 420, 380. The speed brake is fully extended. Gear is still up, fuel's good, temperatures are good. Altitude 2300 feet and descending. 280, 270, stop raining. 260, 250, gear, gear in transit. Air brakes are still extended, we are still we're looking for touchdown at 140. So we'll continue our descent. Gear is down. Confirmed three greens. Confirmed. Temperatures, pressures looking good. Fuel quantities looking good. We've got plenty for the uh, go around. Wind is 240 at 12 knots. So I'll be landing from the opposite end of the runway. I'm looking for a circuit height. Okay, I can go in. Air brakes are in. Power is coming up. So I'm going to stay visual with the runway. Try and maintain about a thousand feet. And then we'll hook it round and land in the opposite direction. Get confused sometimes with that window. Window has to be pointing down, not up. If it's up, it's behind you. So I'm on a heading of 58, and reciprocal heading is 239, so I've got a tailwind of 11 knots. Okay. Red Alt's giving me 400 feet, so I should be higher than this. Trickle of power, I got the gear down, we're doing 113. It's quite slow. It's easy to get confused sometimes. Okay. Red Hawk downwind. Squeeze it back up to a thousand feet. Got high ground off to our right. I'm quite tight in there. That's good. I'm quite happy with that. Thousand feet, two hundred knots. Don't want to be going any faster than that in the circuit, really. Pissing down with rain. Uh, 
Things are run by a thousand feet. My wing is on the runway there, so that's good. We have to follow that. I'm looking for the turn, and once my wing tip is on the threshold there, that's me. I'm in it. I'm on. Almost there. Gear is down. Confirm. Okay, that'll do. Right, we come. Throttle down. Horrible, horrible weather. Why is my run by this? One ninety, one ninety, one eighty. Confirm three greens, confirm. Coming round wind. Wind is two four one eleven knots, clear to land. Clear to land, Red Hook, seventy seven. Air brakes extended. I'm looking for one forty for touchdown. 160, 160, 150, air brakes in, 140, trickle of power, confirm three greens, confirm fuel temperature's good, everything's good, 140, everything's looking good, a little bit high on the approach, that's good, I like that, that's not a problem, one red, two reds, 140 maintained. Two four two ten knots. Throttle is closed. Stick back. Contact. And we would like a left turn for the Coast Guard hangar. I can see it. Let's come back onto the centre line. Turn off here somewhere. Let's get my landing lights on. Should have put that on, really. There you go. Conditions really are appalling in Inverness this evening. Can't see a damn thing. Yes, I know to self, important thing to remember. Wind direction indicator, top left, that arrow there must be pointing down to be into wind, and if it's pointing up, uh, the wind's behind you, okay? I got confused again there. But I knew that, I just forgot it. So slap on wrist, note to self. There's our Coast Guard hangar, and we're just going to park outside here. Keep 
maybe come in a little bit more. Otherwise we'll get it in someone else's way. And the ground crew will come out and put it in the uh, in the garage there. Brakes on. There we go. Canopy open. switches off and jump out be nice off come on yeah fiddle these things can't wait for the VR glove to come out so you can touch things with your fingers that'd be awesome thanks for watching